The Electronic Entertainment Expo, E3, is the video game industry's biggest event of the year. This year, that industry is expected to bring in $66 billion in revenue, so there is a lot at stake. The expo is massive. I headed to Los Angeles to check out the flashy displays, learn about some new games, and hang out with some old friends. Here is what's coming up. Gamers got really excited for new games like Batman Arkham Origins, a pirate-themed version of the popular Assassin's Creed franchise, Three, two, one. and a sequel to the addictive mobile game Plants vs. Zombies. Disney previewed their upcoming Disney Infinity game. You can play as Pixar characters, Jack Sparrow, Jack Skellington. Your kids are going to want this. Brace yourself. The biggest story of E3, though, was the console battle between the upcoming PS4 and the Xbox One. The new consoles go on sale later this year. They're both big black boxes competing for a place in your living room. Here's what's different. The Xbox One comes with Kinect. It can see you sitting there on your couch, it records audio, video, and it is always on, which could be a good thing or a really spooky thing. At E3, gamers were upset that the Xbox requires you to connect to the internet once a day to keep playing games that you've already bought. The PS4 lets you play your games without internet access. Also, the Xbox One got some flack for restricting gamers from using used games. Used games bought from a stranger on Craigslist will not work on the Xbox One. They will work on a PS4. The PS4 is 100 bucks cheaper. It's 399 versus the Xbox's 499. And the consensus was, for E3 at least, the PS4 won. Of course, certain games will only work on one or the other, and oftentimes it comes down to which console has the game you like. Are you saving up for one or the other? Let us know at thelistshow.tv.